the thing that we spent the most time on was actually getting all the syndication people, the lawyers, the journalists, <laughs> everyone around the table. And it was our, it was a company project, not <laughs> just an IT project. Okay. And that's why it succeeded. There are other organizations where I think you've got people who, who are trying to do this kind of thing, but they can only go so far because it's seen as a technology project mm -hmm. or something that the IT function is trying to do. Interesting you should mention partners because that's really key to the, uh, the platform. So in 2009, we released a product called the Open Platform, a series mm -hmm. of products. And it's, we call it the suite of services uh, allowing you to do business with The Guardian. Mm -hmm. Essentially, it's a full text API of um, the contents of the website. And the idea is that with appropriate key approval, you can essentially build a better version of The Guardian if you want to. So there's different tiers of access to it, but um, essentially the idea is to completely lower or remove the barrier to business development with our content. I think that's that's quite an extreme way of putting it, but I think we can position ourselves as white label if the opportunity comes mm -hmm. comes up. So if someone came along with a business opportunity and said, we can do this with your content, we don't have to then spend months asking our development team to come up with yet another type of feed. It's just there, it's simple to use, and the feedback we've had from anyone who's tried to use with it is just so simple. For example, Google I.O. Uh -huh. last a couple of weeks ago, we had a couple of developers there. The Chrome team built an app using our content, mm -hmm. didn't even need to talk to us, it was so simple to use. So it's a mixture of um, different technologies. As you can imagine, most newspapers have got a kind of a different strata of old feeds and mm -hmm. FTP systems and XML delivery mechanisms. So it was kind of, uh, some of it, you know, when the newspaper gets published every night, there's a whole bunch of feeds that go out via FTP to different services and they're re-syndicated. Mm -hmm. We also had full text RSS feeds on the website mm -hmm. that some people were using. And then there were various sort of cron job mechanisms that send feed out and things like that, whereas yeah. it's very much now uh, we're mo migrating everybody slowly onto this new mechanism. Mm -hmm. So we've got everyone from the individual small-scale developer that we've not even met mm -hmm. using this thing at one level and we're migrating some of our um, quite valuable syndication contacts contracts onto that so in the UK the newspaper licensing association has a feed of all of the digital content from all the newspapers mm -hmm. which is resold and we get a lot of revenue from that we've just plumbed our API into their feed system rather mm -hmm. than having to build a separate feed ourselves mm -hmm. Well, we've seen, um, uh, we're not the only people to kind of pursue uh, an open strategy. Mm -hmm. um, I know that there was a lot of work that the Times, New York Times did um, uh, trying to open up their content, but they, never were, they were never able to go quite as far as we were mm -hmm. in terms of radically um, uh, making it easy for people to, there was always seemed to be some kind of limit placed on what you could do Why and of do course now with the pay well I think um, I, I don't have an inside oh, track on that um, but I can imagine that one of the uh, what I can say is that um, uh, the key uh, thing that we had on our side was a shared vision in the organization okay. that this is what we wanted to do we have a brilliant team mm -hmm. and uh, um, and actually I would Interestingly, uh, you should mention uh, the team. I think uh, one of the advantages of our open strategy actually attracts people who want to work on mm -hmm. something like that. So I really love the ethos of the open source community. And just by using open source software and just generally pursuing an open strategy, we're tending to attract and retain the right kind of people. To, yeah. to a certain extent, the, the kind of uh, uh, point and click uh, UIs of some of the enterprise search engines, wonderful features that they have, are to a certain extent a turn off mm -hmm. to some of our guys because actually they just want to get down on the command line, issue a few commands, provision something. Mm -hmm.